Hey there guys, White Mage Serenia here, just popping in real quick before the start of this video to let you guys know that if you want to support the channel, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below if you want to share your thoughts, and also make sure you get that bell on so that you can get your notifications. Also, if you want to support the channel outside of YouTube, I do have a Patreon down in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have yourselves a nice day. Enjoy the video. Hi! Hi, hi, hi! Yeah, I told you that Dancer's name would come to me later. But no one knows who he was when, 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 Yeah, because it's Majulu. What he did. Mm, no, similar to Magilu. They don't. But he showed up one day with a Malak in tow, routed the demons, and formed a band of skilled young exorcists. That sounds pretty suspicious. I do have to wonder right. when the Seraphim the were suddenly start, or Malaks were started to be called uh, Seraphims. And threw its full support behind him. Maybe he plans on usurping power for himself. Not likely. He's worked tirelessly to rebuild the church and state, and to shore up the royal family's position. Lining his pockets from the state coffers, then. Not the slightest yeah, chance. Yeah, I would imagine so. Rather, he's got all the other higher-ups worried he's working himself to death. Then what's he after? Hmm. Maybe there is no ulterior motive. Maybe he is our shepherd. Whatever the case, if he hadn't shown up when hey, he did hey, Blue. years Eisen ago, staring at you. again would be a smoking ruin. <laughs> here, here. Greetings, Magilu's Menagerie. You've come to exactly the right place. You must be a Bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the Code Red demons, right? I the do. Really strong demons the Abbey wants gone. Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a code red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <laughs> and let me guess, that's where the blood wings come in. Exactly. There are blood wings all throughout Midgant who have information on these code red demons. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand. But I won't make any promises. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I'd feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so here, take this. Oh yeah, she's gonna give Those me a Denor bottle or something. Those are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those code red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these <laughs> code red demons are tough enough to make the Abbey shiver. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk to those blood wings before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. Yeah, I do need to get on the upgrading thing. Hey, Lafayette. What is it, Rogero? Mabo Curry. <laughs> huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo Curry that much, huh? It smells good. And it's creamy and kind of spicy. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it then. Do all Malakim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot, <laughs> Mabo some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What else? Uh, pretty much just drinks. Don't you like anything else? Is it a problem if I don't? No. I'm just wondering. <laughs> For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. 
That's where you boil strips of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar. Uh, that sounds so well, delicious. Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. Candied sweet potatoes. Sounds I, good. I totally want to try candied sweet potatoes. Uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. <laughs> How's my expedition doing? Oh, wow. Yes, yes, it's a great one. <laughs> Oh god, cheesecakes, man. Hey, that noisy demon looks pretty strong. Think it might be one of those code red demons? Doesn't matter to me. I'd rather not waste my time fighting it if I don't need to. I don't see it as a waste of time. I don't either. Look, the <laughs> Abbey only has a handful of exorcists strong enough to take something like this down, right? Oh god, man, probably, cheesecake is awesome, dude. I'd say Praetors like Lady Teresa and the Legates could probably take it on. And those guys are all your enemies, Grr. right? I see where you're going with this. I the Abbey is father. strong, both in its individual members and as an organization. <laughs> and if we're to close the gap between us and them... We need to fight strong opponents like this demon. That's what I would do. But you're free to make your own decision. All right. I'll concede the point. But we should determine just how strong it is first. Oh, that sounds awesome, I don't want us to bite off more than we can chew. That goes without saying. I'd rather not get myself killed due to inadequate preparation. You don't have to worry that much. If you want to go fight, I'll help keep you safe myself. I promise. I don't recall asking for your protection. You don't need to. Oh, yay, my expedited edition! This recipe looks Show him how I. Show him how I. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It would actually be faster if we do this. Also, I have the bottomless uh, Inof and uh, Denor bottles, so I don't even need the normal ones. That's that's the uh, 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 yeah. that's another advantage of having New Game Plus. So a lot of the stuff I did New Game Plus for is just pure convenience. Yeah. Aha. Like the ability to run faster, for example. Because <laughs> those wolves would have kicked my ass okay. if I didn't have it. Watch yourselves. This guy means business. I know, I know. Training isn't worthwhile if you get killed while doing it. Damn! Not even worth my time. Whew. That thing was pretty strong. <laughs> we you erased that good thing. To train on. I'm not in it just for myself. If I get stronger, I'll be more helpful in your battles. This counts towards the repayment of my debt. But you don't deny at least part of it was for yourself. Of course not. Every true swordsman wants to train so they can improve themselves. It might be a little late to ask, but what debt exactly are you repaying, Rokuro? My sword is my life. When I was separated from it, Velvet told me where to find it. Also, she broke me free from a 500-year-long prison sentence. You say that like it's an afterthought. Five hundred year and long? That's why I, can't I don't remember him you. saying that before. I don't follow. Us Rangetsu men are renowned for our sense of duty and commitment. Actually, that explains why Rokuro was willing to follow her all the way then. Pretty unusual last name. I heard your family specializes in unconventional swords and fighting styles. That's true. Our ancestor was a swordsman from way off in another country who came to this land a long time ago. A foreign swordsman, huh? I guess that explains why your swords and techniques stand out so much. He had quite a hard time getting by in this unusual land, until he was taken in by an aristocratic family. Ever since, the Rangetsu clan has accepted the rule of their benefactors and has served them in repayment of their debt. Served them as bodyguards? Bodyguards, assassins, spies, body doubles. Whatever the order, your family will carry it through. 
always return that which you've borrowed, even if you must repay it with your life. That was our ancestors' creed. In truth, four of my five older brothers are dead. You have to admit, we take our sense of duty seriously. <laughs> yeah. All right, I get it. You and your family are all tied to your sense of honor. That seems to be the case. We can count on him. As long as he's on our side, at least. Oh, come on, that's not fair. No, I'd say that's pretty fair, Rokuro. I I'd say that's very fair. <laughs> Wish I had the ability to jump and take shortcuts, but you know, that's that's one thing I don't like about this one, but eh, whatevs. Not like that was ever really a thing in Tales games anyway. style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. <laughs> Rokuro looks weirdly adorable in a serving outfit. They were nothing. I need to check something here. Okay, Blinding Frost, Elixir Vitae. Alright. What level are we? Oops. Oh, wow. I guess we'll have all our arts by level 30. Galley's Lake Road. A I refuse to that was a lot of EXP. Squirmits. <laughs> I love it. Come on, really? Oh. All righty then. Burn and push. <laughs> now we have ourselves a bridge. I'm trying to remember... Okay, it's this way. Yo! I saw you there, Miss Pixie! <laughs> I'd say go back to Curse It. You know, Curse It and Miss Pixie. <laughs> Snick! Go away, Snick! <laughs> no one likes the snake. I don't like the snake. <laughs> Pardon me. You have not got me. Burn push. Uh, you know, some things like this in gaming really make me laugh sometimes. Because, like... You push a boulder and it always goes exactly where you want it to go. And I'm just, you're just sitting there got like... You know, what if it would have just went a slight inch to the other way? A no, slight inch to the left. Ha -ha. Well, now. Let's see, what do we got here? Agua ring. Agua. Agua gua. Agua. Equa. It's a snake, a snake, ooh, it's a snake, 
A badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Uh. Cats, 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 cats. Yeah, every single screen has a, um, what's the word? Has a cat's chest. Every single screen except one. Can't go that way. Uh, well. Hmm. I guess I do have to go around the other way. Well. Yes. Out of my way, son. Sunny Jim. Jimmy Sunny. Scale Crusher! Did she just get a new one? Nope. Must have been one of the other characters. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like the enemies that teleport right in front of you like that. But they're easy enough to dodge if you are expecting it. Well, when you have the movement speed things, too. That helps. There's a Code Red Diamond here! Code Red! Code Blue! Code Purple? Give me a purple! Give me a purple! <laughs> Well, like I said, like, what if that boulder would have, like, smashed and or, like, went the wrong way or something? You know what I mean? But it's consistent every time, because it's a video game. I see you, baby! Fight me! Or run from me, that works too, a kid. Alright, boost! Oh, you're so dead. God. Bam, bam! Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just boom, 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 Bam! Killing flash, but I'm this close. Close. I won't miss! Form Zero! Sunder! Sorry, I love shouting that out. You made me unleash my full power. Oh yeah. I couldn't remember who my last character was for a second there. I was drawing only a blank. But then I looked at my menu and was like, oh yeah. I had to remind myself for a second there. Ugh. All right. Yo, is my capture card lagging or something? That's weird. It's not one-to-one -one like it's supposed to be today. Oh well. It's not a big deal. Yeah, Lindworm, that's it. Fafnir is a dragon you fight in the uh, bonus dungeon at the, after you've beaten the game and start uh, loaded in your save file. That is right. Oh, can't go that way just yet. Gonna get back in time. Who goes there? What on earth are guards doing here? Watch out! They've got molecules! They're no ordinary cell swords. Who's a shield? Carbon flesh! Lethal pain! Oh yeah. Sheesh. What do you suppose they were guarding? A little lost lamb, perhaps. You think they're holding Mendy captive?
Is there someone here named Mendy? We've come to help. Oh, thank Mindy. Goodness. I can finally go home. So they were keeping you prisoner. They made you mine vermilion ore? Yes, I discovered a method of refining it, and it cost me dearly. What's vermilion ore? A rare stone made of concentrated nutrients. It can be used in medicine, but it's also poisonous. Correct. So you were making medicine? Yes. They were forcing me to make a nutritional substance called nectar. Isn't vermilion ore supposed to be highly addictive? Uh, I told them that. But what choice did I have? Whatever. Our task is complete. Can you get back to Logris on your own? I can. I'm terribly sorry. Why apologize to me? We've done what we came for. Let's get back to the old lady. Yes, we'll head back that way in just a moment. Alright, return to the Danan Highway. Report to Logris. You know, teleporting freely helps. For sure. Oh, my expedition. I forgot about that. Scout. Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malakim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. The there name should only Empyrean. be four. One ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything, Luffy said? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down. And to make sure that I kill him. You sure that was safe to talk about in Locris itself there, Velvet? I hear Mendy made it back safe. That takes care of that problem. Destroy goods. Keep up the good work. This one takes us to Port Zexen. Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. Warp to sex in. that much from Dragon Quest 8. Yeah, money. We better save. Haven't done that in a little while. No, sir. No, we have not. Oh, a cat's chest. I thought I opened this one already. Oh, top hat! <laughs> yes! Oh, God. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Have you heard? The Abbey is building a new base. I hear it's a huge temple in the middle of some mountains near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different oh, from all those God. losers who swoon over the shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet, and demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure, maybe things are not as bad as they could have been, but we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it. Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser. Yep, you're completely right. <sighs> All right, the guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. Red crates. These must be our targets. The seal of Midgand Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Burn them, Lafayette. Okay. We're done here. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd love to have a switch someday, but I, I don't foresee that anytime soon. Hello, That's this is me from the future time. on January 31st, 2020. I have a switch now. I've had it for about a month. <gasps> it's you! <laughs> oh, hey, the crybaby. Eleanor Hume. Bring it on, Eleanor. You really want to fight, don't you? No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Lethal pain! Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Bam! Willing to fight without your Malakin? No! You set the storehouse ablaze? The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis. How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built? Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malakim up her sleeves. Man! I will put you out of Eleanor! Come and face me now, demon! <laughs> He's adorable. Uh, am I? Ooh, I found you at last. <laughs> You traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Whee! <laughs> what are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? <laughs> it is! Fire! Yeah. <laughs> Poor Bienfu. Mm. The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. Let me go! Witch Nipper! Madam Exorcist! What happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Yes, madam. She doesn't look badly Tell hurt me, to me. Do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine provided by High Priest Gideon to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church? Why would anybody destroy it? There's a reason. There's a reason indeed. Whew. Looks like we're in the clear. <laughs> Misfortune and anguish! I had that little turncoat right in front of me! Aww. Well, at least now I know where to find him! That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same. The Moloch Bienfu! 
A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not sure I get it. Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. <laughs> Let's go back and report our success. What's the deal with you and that exorcist, Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. Velvet poked fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius's philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that Bienfu character that Magilu was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes. He's still a Moloch. That means Magilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor. Fish me now, demon. <laughs> right? <laughs> Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I apologize. Yenfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Uh, all right. Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Knock <laughs> it off. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. Yeah, I'm sure, sorry. Velvet. It has nothing to do with You're the name so that was used there. Let's try it together later, Luffy said. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I love this game, dude. It's... Oof. Need a good one. A good one, baby. Yo, my oh yeah, I forgot about the herbs over here. Yoink. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hail to the yes. Yes, it is. Ow, my back. Trouble too. at the docks, was there? Well, so long as the job was done. Good luck. So... Somebody means to ambush the Royal Medical Society on the Danan Highway. The Royal Medical Society is a group of doctors that travel around healing the sick. They're funded by donations given by ordinary folk. <sighs> Why would anyone attack them? Don't ask me. Some people are just twisted. And why would an underworld group defend them? Who knows? Something to do with the attackers, perhaps? That would be my guess too, Velvet. Indeed, my friend. I need to get a USB 3.0 extension cable, I think. Because right now, I don't have one. And this capture card supposedly only works with USB 3.0, but, I mean, clearly it's working with 2.0, so... Then again, it is plugged into a 3.0 port, it's just using a 2.0 extension cable, so... It's hell if I know. After I'm done streaming, uh, a little bit later, I'll play around with it and see if I can uh, get it to look a little better. Or at least play a little better. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Over here is where we need to be. Because there is a slight delay.
Oh god, Rokuro looks so hey, funny right now. Get out of our way! That's there! That's our food! Die. For this, no one give it up! It's ours! So the attackers were demons. I guess that's why they needed us to stop the attack. Well, not only just the demons, but they were also red ribbon. Looks like they ran off. So that effectively means that they were part of the, uh, I forget the name. It the appears Blood they were after this stuff. Medicine. Can't remember the, the name of the guild. The Shadow Guild, essentially. That scarf. Did that belong to the attackers? Yeah. All three were wearing them. Does it mean something? They were just demons. Aggressive ones who attacked the innocent. We finished all the jobs. Let's get back to the old lady's tavern. <laughs> Bloodwing butterfly. Sure do you like that mob o curry? Uh, do I the Shadow Guild. I just could not remember me. the uh, you didn't name of the guild. Tasty velvet. Couldn't tell you. Huh? Food doesn't hold any flavor for her. According to Velvet, she can never feel sated. And the only thing she can taste is blood. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's my mom. What's the matter? You're gloomier than usual. Am I actually useful? Huh? Yeah, you're useful, you Loppy said. You can cut down any enemy, and Aizen can beat them up. Velvet is strong and can eat anything. Hmm? Huh? But I'm not good at fighting, and apparently I'm always gloomy. Is that what's bothering you? In a fight, offense alone isn't everything. Hurting your foes means nothing if you don't live to tell the tale afterwards. Your healing arts are what let us always fight at our best. He's right. Compared to dead weight like Mogilu, <laughs> plenty helpful out there. Only compared to Mogilu? Aww. I didn't mean it like that. I was just saying she never helped at all. <sighs> You're not going to grow overnight. Be patient. Huh? You've only just been set free. That you've even managed to keep up with us this far is a feat in and of itself. Strength comes by continually improving your mind and body. Keep your spirits up and keep working at it, and you'll get there before you know it. I will? The drive to improve is what's important. Right. All right, back to Logris. By the way, those folks we just passed were talking about us. What were they saying? They were warning each other to be careful, talking about the demons that burned down Helavis and destroyed the Seagate Fortress being near the capital. Considering how bold we've been, everyone's still fairly calm about it. We'll be famous soon enough once we kill the world's savior. Sounds like that could get fun. Fun? Why? The people trying to capture us will put prices on our heads and put up wanted posters everywhere. Oh god. Depending on who draws the likenesses, each portrait can look completely different. You know what I'm talking about, right, Eisen? Aye. I've seen dozens of pictures of myself. Some make me a monster, others make me a handsome youth. It's fascinating, really. I hope I get a poster soon. Then do your best to really stir things up. Right. I'll stir everything up good. <laughs> Luffy said is so innocent. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so adorable, so innocent, so naive. Welcome back. That must have been hard work. How does marble curry sound to you? I also have our specialty peach pie on hand. We had a deal. Spill it. <laughs> Shepherd Artorius has gone north, up the Danan Highway, at the Abbey's newest temple. 
the Empyrean's throne. He is expected to be there for a while. Are they relocating there? In a sense, yes. They're holding a ritual to move the seat of the Empyrean in Nominat. In Nominat. In other words, the Abbey's new god. It is a very serious affair, so I imagine Melchior will be there along with the other High Exorcists. Suits us fine. I might even find him there. That will do. Somewhere in there we'll find a chance to strike. Perhaps. But be aware that security near the throne is on high alert. We'll manage to get through. No, you won't. You may be able to fool the guards, but there's no tricking the barrier they've put up. They've used arts to erect a giant wall, keeping outsiders away. But they have to get through themselves. That implies some sort of key, right? Yes. In fact, one of our people is looking into that as we speak. However, I'm afraid... <laughs> It'll cost us. You learn quick. Nice! And here's the bill. Okay, now we're really not being nice. Consider it done. Aren't you going to ask why you have to kill a high priest? Nope, it's our, our task, so we'll do I it. I imagine it's because he's the one controlling the nectar supply. The church is the sole producer and distributor of a highly addictive substance. They rake in huge profits. While the common man, along with your people, suffer for it. <laughs> That's true. Does that cover it? You noticed your tasks were related. That was the real test, wasn't it? And you passed. No matter how skilled you are, you have to know more than how to swing a sword to earn my trust. Don't misunderstand my intentions. I'm willing to do anything. If it brings me to Artorias. I ditched my scabbard long ago. I see. So you are the embodiment of a bare blade. A more formal introduction is in order. I am Tabitha Baskerville, leader of the Bloodwing Butterflies. I'm Velvet. Tell me about the High Priest. Each evening, he prays for protection. I think they're called the Blood Wings the in, uh, j just the Blood Wings or the Blood Roses scrubs. or something in Sisteria. Can't remember. Tradition holds that the High Priest should be alone for the prayer. That would seem the best time to strike. How do we get into the valley? <laughs> Carry this insignia with you. And allies of the Bloodwings will offer you their aid. We'll hold up our end. Just That's find it, out the about scattered that bones. Ah, <sighs> uh, Velvet, are you okay? It's nothing. But you seem. I said it's nothing. Uh, Sneaking into the castle will be an all-night job. Let's take this time to get everything ready and then rest at the tavern. Yeah. Pretty much, Blue. Alright. <laughs> if I didn't have something to do in a little bit, I would actually continue, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and stop here. This way, I'll actually have a chance to um, play around with my Did capture card a little bit, since I've got so it, you know, health, plugged in and stuff. Banned. Why are they making it? And they make it get ready for what I need to do tonight on 14. Huh? Just because the powers that be say a rule is for the greater good, it doesn't mean that everyone will see eye to eye with them. If Tabitha's Mabo curry was outlawed, would you really be able to never eat it again? I wouldn't like it, but if it's against the rules... Well, I'm not done yet. <laughs> The skit kind of got in my way. Well, you'll get hungry no matter what. People want what they want. But anything forbidden is bound to be rare. 
And when things are rare, they become expensive. So that's why people make it. The world isn't a simple place. There's an underside to everything. An underside? Contract killers, secret weapons dealers, loan sharks that charge outrageous interest, pirates like me, the folks who offered us mooring for information, and the gilded helovies are all part of it. As are the people who dye chicks blue to sell them at a higher price. And the people who bet on alleyway bug fights. <gasps> and they'll come to you with a smile, so you can't let your guard down if you want to stay safe. What sorts of bugs ah. do they make fight? That's the part that got your attention. <laughs> I actually forgot about that line. <laughs> they kind of set up Loffy said to love for bugs early on. Alright, but like I said, though, I'm going to go ahead and stop streaming for now, guys. Um, I got things I need to take care of anyway. So, until then, thank you guys for watching, and have yourselves a good night. Take care, everyone. Peace out. In card, go! Yo! Have you checked out this video over here? Maybe you should. How about that one over there? I'd recommend it. Yo, if you left your thoughts in the comment section down below, I sure hope you have so far, make sure you subscribe, and if you want to stay up to date, get that bell on. Hey, there's also a Patreon down there if you actually want to support the channel. I appreciate it. Have a good day.